Are you aware that pornography is at an all-time high right now and especially during the lockdown? Do you want to understand why people are turning this more and more than ever and ultimately the issues that it's causing in relationships around the world? But do you also understand not only why it's happening but what you can do to change it and to protect yourself during this time? I'm going to share that with you and so much more in today's episode of Going Deeper. So welcome to today's show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host John Morris, a psychologist and training, personal development coach, artist and author. Welcoming you to the show that helps you get from where you are to where you want to be step by step and hopefully with simplicity. Always reminding you that we never teach on anything that we have not first hand experience in ourselves. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that they need to hear in their time of struggle. And now we've got that out of the way, I want to turn to today's topic, which is a bit of a controversial one. It's a doozy for sure. If you're aware now that pornography is more addictive than cocaine and other forms of substance, then you understand that there must be something going on here. So. We want to explore a little bit as to what's going on now. I know, believe it or not, that I've actually got an audience that have no idea what pornography is. So pornography is, uh, I guess the best way of describing it, is sexual content that has either been filmed or photographed for the use of distribution, for orgasmic pleasure or, or for sexual pleasure. It is something, believe it or not folks, that I firmly believe that is confusing people more than ever, ever before. One of the biggest contributors to the LGBTQI uh, movement in the world. Ultimately, not so much for the movement, but more so for the confusion and for people feeling that their identity is uh, misaligned. Now, I want to stress just right at the beginning here that the reason that I believe this is because 150 years ago, none of these problems really ever existed. Why? Because people had a lot less time on their hands. I honestly believe that and social media are two of the biggest contributing factors right now to so much confusion, so much gender, um, you know, unsettlement uh, than ever, ever before. Because the thing is, with society telling you, hey, everything's okay, with teenagers and children being raised in a certain way that says, hey, it's okay, you know, um, you start to believe that everything is okay and everything is permissible. But I start to question, you know, is it really? Um, you know, so when we explore this a little bit, you know, that the reality is for me, and you can disagree with this, I know many of you will. Now, bear in mind, in previous uh, shows and previous things that we've done, we've actually studied at length and talked about at length the movement of the LGBTQI uh, movement, and I have spoken very, very openly about how I believe that it has got a place in our school system, um, especially in our modern world here in 2021. So that should, you know, hopefully set some sort of premise that I'm not just coming at this cold and, you know, just sort of a random thing. So what's going on, really, with, with all this stuff that's going on? Well, I honestly believe that one of the main things that's going on is people have not got control over themselves. That the, the, I suppose the idea of self-mastery is no longer a thing for many people. It is not something that's being taught in schools, it's not something that's being taught in colleges or universities, um, and it's something that people more and more are lacking, if, if I'm completely honest. We now live in the world that's not only the instant click, but it's the instant gratification. It's like, how do I get pleasure now? You know, and obviously if you log online, there is a ton of pornography on there, you know, that is quite frankly, very, very, very dangerous. Because what happens is, um, the, the way that all of this works, okay, just so you know, is, 
your brain gets the dopamine signal, okay, and that's that's when you start feeling arousal. And that comes either from a male or female, or nowadays it's from non-binary and, and everything else. Don't want to exclude anybody. Um, and then that sends a signal down south, and you start feeling all of those hormones, and you want to do something about it. But here's the crazy thing, is like any drug, what happens is you watch, you know, some form of pornography, whatever it might be, that's maybe, you know, soft, you know, there's just a little bit of arousal. And then you go from that position to, you know, well, you know, you, you, you enjoyed that feeling, but you don't get it anymore. Remember, this is like a drug. This is why I like next drugs. And then you go from that feeling to needing something a bit more. And it might be, you know, full nudity. From there, it might be, I don't know, two, you know, two people. Uh, it might be then a threesome. It might be a four-way. It might be an orgy. It might be, you know, uh, you know, getting on for more hardcore and bondage and, and you know, the list goes on and on and on. But can you see how you went from something, you know, there was a photo of your favorite celebrity to, you know, something. Um, okay, so what's going on here? What What's causing all of these things? Well, I, I'll, I'll give you an, an insight from a study that we've conducted. And it's a really interesting study. When people are offline, they're less, um, how do I phrase this, less aroused uh, on the whole than anything else. Because what seems to be happening is people are clicking online, they'll go on Instagram or on TikTok, it's usually the photo-based uh, platforms, and they'll see their favorite celebrity, you know, who they followed, who they love, who they followed to the grave, you know, now in a bikini. Or, or now in, you know, shorts, if, you, if you're a guy or if you're a girl, either way, whatever. Something sexual, okay? Some, something that looks beautiful. Your brain then gets flooded with dopamine, which then travels all the way down south. And, you know, because a little bit of pleasure has been attached to sex, um, you know, it, it, it becomes out of control because, again, people have not got the art of self-mastery. Um, so what happens then is people become aroused, they do whatever they want to do, and you know, they, they get on with their day. And then the next day, it, it, you know, they enjoy that feeling and your brain being the great host that it is says, well, I enjoyed that feeling, but now I, I want more of it. Um, so instead of just seeing, you know, the, the same, you know, bikini shot of whoever it might be, they, they start saying, well, you know, I, I want that feeling, but I'm not getting it from there. And they start going for something else. So it could be, you know, um, you know, one person self-servicing. And then they do the same the next day, and, and then it's, you know, it's two people having sex. And then it's, you know, you know people having a three-way or an orgy or, you know, uh, and then it ends up with, you know, toys, and, and then it ends up with hardcore, and that ends up, you know, bondage and what. And do you see how we got from, you know, a simple photo that was, you know, attractive to, you know, hardcore, insane levels of stuff? The crazy thing is that it doesn't stop there, and that's why I firmly believe more and more people now are becoming sex offenders, people becoming more in, into all sorts of really just bizarre kind of behaviours, or, or what the populace would say was bizarre behaviours. When you understand, you know, behaviour and human psychology and behavioural psychology, then you start to understand why people are doing stuff. Okay, it's because they're constantly looking for that next big kick, that next big thing. Um, and I've seen people literally driven to the point of insanity um, over sexual desire. So as I mentioned right at the beginning, what, what really is going on is, you know, um, God, your creator, you know, universe, divine spirit, whatever you want to label it as, you know, uh, you know, evolution, you know, has, you know, created, you know, sex for the sole purpose, really, of uh, reproduction. That's what, you know, the purpose is of, of sex, basically. Um, you know, but because there's a little bit of pleasure that's attached to it, people have now become so obsessed and addicted to sex um, that it rules them. They know, they are in belief that they're no longer master of their own body and of, or of their own being. 
and they've allowed themselves to get so addicted to sex. Now, don't get me wrong, I get the whole thing of, yes, you might have an addictive strain on your DNA, you know, you might, which is, you know, again, you need to be aware of all of these things, okay? Uh, there's so many different elements that I can't possibly cover in one video, um, but I'm, I'm doing my best. So the fact then that it's, you know, a little bit of pleasure has been attached to it means that's why people do it and they do it over and over and over again. Because guess what? If there's no pleasure attached to it, people would do it for reproduction and they wouldn't bother again. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, but that is why, you know, I honestly believe that social media has a massive part to play because when you log on to Instagram and you see your favorite celebrity in, you know, skimpy clothing or whatever, it does the desired effect. You think, wow, that, per that person is sexy, they send dopamine down and it floods your body with all these good feelings, you get aroused, and then all of a sudden you want to do something about it. People get so upset about these feelings, but guess what? That is actually what you're designed to do. That's what your body is designed to do. Um, that is probably the reason that it is happening. Uh, because I guarantee you these pornography companies are paying hundreds of billions of dollars every single year to get people to watch. But it's really dangerous, and it's really dangerous for a number of reasons. Um, because, like I say, they're not bothered whether you become addicted to it or not. In fact, the more addiction that you have to it, the more you use it, the better it is, the more money they make, the more videos they make. Um, it is estimated now that every single minute that something like, I think it's 1,800 videos, uh, don't quote me on that, but I know it's a high amount of videos, are uploaded every single minute. Um, and, uh, you know, it doesn't matter of the content, it doesn't matter what's going on, as long as they get a reaction, as long as they get, you know, you watch it. That's the main thing. They don't care. But here's the crazy thing. The creator of one of the world's uh, foremost internet security systems, uh, called McAfee, or McAfee, depending on where you are in the world, uh, is a guy called John uh, McAfee. Uh, I'll call him John McAfee. And he did a video about this. And he said, you know, that there is no internet software protection in the entire world that can prevent any hackers, or that can prevent all hackers from, uh, from accessing you. And what happens is they follow your patterns, they follow your, you know, the, the, your thumb imprint and all of this kind of stuff. And this video is on YouTube um, as well. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend you check it out. It's uh, John McAfee's. Uh, if you type in John McAfee's hackers, I, I think you should find it. Um, but, uh, you know, he created this software and he's very much aware that he can't protect, you know, all of these people. So what happens is uh, these hackers, you know, are basically watching your movements. These people are watching what's going on and ultimately they can notice what you're searching for. And they can actually use that down the line to blackmail you. They can use that down the line to, you know, control you and to do a lot of things and hack into your accounts, hack into your way of thinking. It's really, really dangerous. Pornography alone is one of the things, and there's so many different directions that I can go and talk about in, in this, uh, in, in this, or on this subject. Um, because it is one of the most dangerous things because quite frankly it, it begins controlling people it begins destroying relationships before you know it you've got more porn addicts than anything else you've got more sex offenders than anything else you've got more pedophiles than anything else you know and that is the way believe it or not that people are being conditioned you know the crazy thing is and I've said this for so many years now People are complaining just at the sex offenders, just at the, you know, fill in the blank. Okay, I'm not a big fan of using the words, but they're complaining about it. But here's the crazy thing. Nobody's attacking, you know, or, or going after, you know, these internet sites that are providing it. Nobody's going after Google and saying, uh, excuse me, Mr. Google, um, do you realize that you are providing a service that is more addictive than cocaine? Um, and is destroying more and more relationships than ever before. And I'm not stupid. I know the fact that nowadays so many people are addicted to it that if they want to access pornography, they're going to access pornography. They're going to find it somewhere. It used to be years ago that it used to be, you know, either photographs or video cassettes that was there. But now it is all over the internet and people are being, you know, bred at a younger and younger age to watch this stuff. It, it's estimated that children as young as four and five years old are accessing pornography. So it's really important that we start to challenge this, that we start to stand up against this, because if you don't want your children exposed to this, then do something about it. Do something about it, because I'll tell you something, folks, that, you know, the um, 
statistics have shown this that these internet what are the the, the internet parent locks they're not that effective you know if, if you if your child wants to find something online it's going to find it and if, if your child is going to find it you know you can say well I don't want my children on the internet they're gonna find it somewhere else they'll find it from a friend they'll find it from a relative you know what it needs to be is from a root source that this is stopped and that means really challenging what's allowed out there guess what people will say well they've no power they can't do this well how can they change it simple if it's been if, it, if it's been brought into existence and guess what? It can also be taken out of existence. You know, I often say, well, the state of the churches, the state of society, the state of politics are in this way because people have allowed it to happen. If you stop allowing it to happen, then guess what? You can change it, even at this late stage. And if you don't want your children exposed to all of these things and becoming part of this really messed up society, then, you know, you, you can do something about it. And it's starting to do your own research, starting to campaign, starting to speak out against it, you know, fighting for that positive cause. Because the, the, the reality is this, the state of the world is a reflection of their state of mind. And the amount of pornography now that is, is, is windle its way into films, into, you know, stuff all over the internet, the amount of people that have in online encounters, all of that kind of stuff, you know, is, is humongous. And that's because that is a society that's been bred. So I encourage you to do something about it as opposed to just ignore it. And it's really, really important that we do. What are your thoughts on this? I'm interested. I know we're skipping around a lot of things here and there. There's a lot obviously that I could say about this, but in 15 minutes, there's only so much that I can cover. Um, but if you are someone who's struggling, I encourage you to get help. You know, there's a lot of people out there that can help, but be very discerning about who you speak to um, because there's a lot of people out there that are almost looking to catch you out. Um, so be very, very, very careful. Uh, and, you know, that's that's from me to you hopefully and I hope this video helps as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you if you know someone that is struggling in this area please let them know that we, we get it we understand you know pornography is this taboo thing but it's it's a real issue folks it's a real drug that's out there and it's damaging a lot of people um, and I think quite simply it needs it, something needs to be done um, for, for sure. And if you do as well, then, you know, I invite you to, to, to join the cause, as, as we say. Um, and uh, if, if nothing more, you know, it, it, it's to protect the generations to come in, in the future. Um, and I think that's a really, really important thing. Who knows? You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just, you know, a completely, you know, um, you know, silly notion on my part. Um, but uh, that there is definitely a, an issue that's there. Anyway, I'll stop. So folks, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care, God bless. I have been your host, John Morris. This has been Going Deeper, the show that helps you get from where you are to where you want to be step by step, and hopefully with simplicity. And we'll see you next time. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step-by-step -step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been 
blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be and also as the trifecta, I am committed to you, to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed, if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch, let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day. Hey folks, take care, God bless, and I will see you soon.